What's up, everybody? This is Gary D from DIY Dollar Bills. How you doing? It is. I'm recording this late at night when it's a little more quiet in the house. And uh, this is an unboxing from from Market um, Market Square Liquidation, and uh, it's an electronics box. I paid two hundred and seventy dollars approximately. There's more than forty items in the box. I did open it up and go through it. Um, but I'm going to, this is a mystery electronics box, average around, uh, there's over 40 items, so it's average around um, 625 to 650 somewhere in that price range per item. So let's go through, just see what we got, and then you'll be able to look on the screen here, or over here, throughout the, one of these two places throughout the video, and I will, I'm going to edit the video, and you'll be seeing the prices that I'll be posting them for, or, you know, if they're working. Most of these are open box, some are sealed. Um, anything that's open box, I will test. Anything that's electronic that's open box, I test. I don't want to ship something out that don't work um, and go through the process of a return. Just cut that as a loss. But uh, let's start, all right? So the very first thing is in the box. We've seen this on TV, this massage gun. Now this massage gun, I know, sells on eBay for like 80 to 100 bucks. I see some of those 50. This particular one is one of the better ones. So, um, the lady, she wanted one for Christmas, but I didn't get her one. <laughs> Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Um, and, uh, well, I'm recording this early in the morning of, of February 13th. So, um, Valentine's Day. So, I guess what she got is a Valentine's Day present. So, I won't be selling this, but this, I just want to show you this. You know, in, it was in the box, and uh, let me stand to the side here, easier to uh, slide the box open this way, put everything on the floor, put the cam up a little bit here, let me fix the cam, alright, put it this way, there we go, alright, you know what? Let me see if I turn off this light. How dark it gets. Okay, that's better. All right, so that's a little better. All right, so got some massage gun there. That's not gonna be a sale. As soon as it came out the box, I gave it to her. She was excited. She got to using it. All right, next thing here, we got a skin. Rejuvenator device. Take my glasses off. I'm not using this. All right. This can rejuvenate some device. This is what I'm listening for. I've got a lot of speakers and stuff and headphones. Some earbuds, wireless earbuds. All right. Not many of this stuff is really good. Oh, brand name. This is a like some kind of digital watch with earbuds. I had saw something like this and looked it up, and this is probably around 80 to 100 bucks just for this. I mean, basically, if we're gonna keep that item, the two, these four items that I just did almost paid for the box, gross wise, not profit wise. Yet. Right. This is a smoke and carbon monoxide alarm. You start seeing the prices here. This is some wireless, a wireless two in one adapter. What's next up in the box here? What here? Bugatti M15 explosive bass wearable stick headphone speaker. It's not a brand name I heard of, but it looks pretty nice. Of course, this is open box, so we'll be testing it. Checking out, make sure there's no scratches and damages. I don't know what it is. Oh, cool. It's a drone. It's a mini drone. Yeah, it's probably like 20, 25 bucks for that. I'm guessing. Here's another pair of wireless earbuds. So a lot of these in there. And uh, I list all this stuff on Facebook Marketplace, on Macari. And on eBay, of course. Um, 
Poshmark and Amazon is a no for these. Um, I don't think there's anything in here like on my last mystery box on opening there were head cl clippers and hair dryers and stuff that would get, got listed on Poshmark. I sold most of that expensive stuff off those boxes by the way more than way more than paid for the box made a good profit last month um had bought that stuff in the beginning of january i think i've profited around two thousand dollars and spent eight hundred dollars what i spent for eight hundred dollars on those two boxes profited two thousand so far in just a month of january i didn't count having count of february stuff yet all right this looks like some kind of Mini Sports HD Cam. Oh, this is a portable camera. Hold on. I might be keeping this. I do want to have something. Okay, I'm probably keeping this. All right, I'm looking for something like this. This is a mini cam. Something I could take around when I go shopping and make, you know, film videos on here. But I will put up the price of what it would sell for on eBay and decide if I'm keeping it or sending out. I mean, if it's something that's like 100 bucks, I'll just sell it. But if it's like 10 bucks or 20, I'll probably keep it. Smart Andy's smartwatch here. This box is open. Smartwatches and stuff. I'll probably just see if they turn on. This one looks. Oh, this one looks like it was not touched. No, the sticker's still on there. All right, so there's no need to. Uh, it's, pretty, it's a nice looking watch. Nice looking smart watch here. All right. This down here. What is this here? LED headlamp. Luminon. Let's open it up. Take a look inside there. LED headlamp. Like I said, I research these products. I'll research them on um, all over the place. See what the pricing is. I know I'm going to profit on this. This is an easy profit box, and um, the price was so low per item compared to the last one, the two boxes combined that I got from Quick Lots. The price is averaged out to ten dollars per. But I sold a couple things where I had to sell. Like I just sold one of the items I got out of the box was a heater. A tornado heater. I got it packed over there. Somebody just bought it before I filmed this video for ten bucks to Hawaii. They paid the seventeen dollars shipping to Hawaii. So after fees, I mean, I make eight bucks. So I lost a dollar something on that. There were only four items where I ended up selling where I lost money. Everything else, phew, some things, ten times the money. You know, eighty bucks, a hundred bucks on items on ten dollar average. All right, this is. Something in a black box here. There's no kind of thing on here. What is this? This is a this is some kind of gun sight. Now I've had like some gun accessories before. They sell quick and they sell full price. If you like it's some kind of gun sight. I will research this a little bit more. That's pretty cool. I don't own a gun, but I don't, I'm not anti-Second Amendment. No. Definitely not ex-military, so I just don't own one myself yet. Oh, there's some kind of electronic. This is a BBQ lighter. This is sealed in the package. Yeah, that's probably like a $10 item. A weapon, another gun, handgun, weapon mounted light or handgun. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty good. Let's see. RGB LED light strips. My son has a couple of these in his room. All right. I think there was another one in here too. I'll oh, see it later here. What we got inside this? little box here. Open this up. It's a battery. It's a lithium battery for a phone. 
I gotta find out which phone it's for. I'll look up the AMC. No idea how much these are. Some of these will be surprisingly low, some of these will be surprisingly high. Smart Wi Fi plug. Speed control, a pet nail grinder. Ouch for the pets. Definitely put batteries in there. Or is it USB? Everything's USB charged nowadays. No battery. Pipe of battery, a lithium battery. So it is charged. You see, so you do charge it. All right, so I'll be testing that out. Pet stuff I find go quick. I list this on Facebook Marketplace. You know, somebody will ask me about it within an hour after I list it and come pick it up. All right. Something this is a heavy little item here. I gotta let me just take this on a scale that I have down here. Jeez, that's nearly a pound, it's like 14 ounces. What is in here? It's all sealed up and stuff. I have no idea what this is. It's a portable charger of some type. I will look it up and give a good description. I'm going to have to do better with my descriptions on eBay and all the places. Because usually when I cross list, I take my posting off eBay, take the pictures on my computer, and just move them over Macari and just copy and paste everything down. But I guess got to do better descriptions for my stuff. Which I'm going to start doing. Go back on my old, old listings and describe those better. This is called a Make the One. What is this? I have no idea what this is. speaker. No portable speaker. All the speakers I will be testing. Um, some of these will probably sound doo-doo. Some of them will probably sound great. Or I may be full. Here's, here's, here's a speaker. That one will probably sound good. Pull side speaker there. Uh, a fitness tracker. I've had one sitting there for like two, for a year and a half. You know. Buy some cheap. Get them out. There's a fitness tracker there. Uh, this looks like get some type of earbuds. I'm just another set of earbuds. These look like waterproof. The way they sort of splash in the water there. Go swimming with those on. All right. There's another speaker. This one's heavy. Of the stereo speaker here. All right. Um, let's see here. Another set of wireless earbuds. I don't know, so many wireless earbuds in there. Not. I don't have a lot of experience selling wireless earbuds. I do now. Smart pet laser toy. Have fun with your make some TikTok videos with your cat and dog chasing all of those things around. Go ahead and cat. I'd run this up. Run this up my girlfriend. Cat. I didn't say that. Maybe you didn't say that. Alright. Waterproof MP3 player. Alright, what we got here? Another smart Wi-Fi plug. This is a single plug. There. Some more wireless earbuds. It's getting heavy here. Oh, by the way, guys, if you like some more unboxing videos, um, I'll have some more mysteries. But I'm going to have some manifested. I'm planning on buying some manifested boxes. Um, please like the video, leave a comment if you have any questions, subscribe, check my other few videos I did. I did unboxing from um from Mr. from quick lots and i've also done tech liquidators tech liquidators is really really nice it's a best buy home liquidation um on there and i plan to make a purchase from there again when i see some stuff that i like that i know will sell like those headphones uh, i still got like 20 headphones i think i've got five left sold quick 80 bucks each gone and here is another wireless headset, Speak of the Devil. 
wireless headsets. Everybody's working from home nowadays. These things are gold. All right. What we got here? Um. Oh. Okay. Here's the other uh, LED light. LED light set. Another one of those. Um. A small Bluetooth headset. Gold. They go, they go quick, they go fast. More earbuds. But I hope these earbuds are worth something, wireless earbuds. I mean, I'll get $20, $25 for each one of those, I hope. HD infrared camera. Camera equipment is very expensive, and I'm hoping this follows along with that. There. I had a camera lens I sold the other day that I've had for a year, finally sold. This is a power bank. Oh, power bank boxes all messed up. I'll definitely plug this in and check it out. Um, I don't see charging cables. I got extra cables somewhere. All right, take a look at that. Could be a loser. Could be nothing. I don't expect every single thing I have here to work. I always expect a 10 to 15% not working rate um, on this stuff. So I've always counted that. I've got lucky on the on the um, mystery boxes I've had before where I've had less than 5%. Oh, I do not like the sound of this. This is a head gaming headset. I do not like it bouncing around in the box. Somebody definitely bought it and returned it. Wire there. It is a nice looking headset though. I'll check it out. Something like that I will mark as used, not open box new. That will be listed as used. I just wanted to do also lesson. Something like that. You list as used. Something like this. If I can list as used. Um this sealed, brand new. Everything else I put is open box, new, tested. All right, it's very important. If you put that on there, it does attract people. They know it works. They're buying something that works. Um, you should test your electronics before you sell them. All right. I've only had in the past year two returns. One of them was an electronic piece that um, I didn't test. It was a um, Wi-Fi repeater. In fact, it was a, in fact, it was out of that quick lux box. I did a test one of the Wi-Fi repeaters. I had three of them. Uh, I tested two, and the one I did a test was not good. <laughs> and even you returned it back. When you sell something on eBay and it doesn't work or it's not as described, you have to pay the shipping for it to come back to you. And I charge shipping. So I not only that, I had to refund the guy his money, plus the shipping he paid. So I ended up losing $5 on that thing and throwing it in the trash. All right. But the reason I charge shipping is if I, the other return I had was somebody changed, got the wrong size of something. He changed his mind. He returned it, but he paid the shipping back, and I kept the shipping. So he said, I think he paid $20 plus shipping. So he had to pay for it to ship back to me. And he only got returned twenty dollars, not twenty five dollars. I kept the five dollars I showed him. All right, and then I resold it two days later. <laughs> Same price. A portable blender, pretty good. I hope there was no food put in here. Let's see how clean this is. We work together. Hold it up to the screen here. Clean. All right. That's pretty neat. Portable blender. Oh, that's your kitchen items. I want to get a bunch of kitchen items from our. I gotta pack that properly. I want to try getting some kitchen small appliance items. Three items left. Professional dental tools. Oh. I remember seeing this earlier. 
or I didn't notice it. Everything in here still in wrapped packages. USB cable of some type. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Everything's in wrapped packages. Um, I will wipe down with alcohol. It looks like I've used anything that's unpackaged in here. Let's see what this does. I'm not sure. All right, there's one big heavy. Oh, a wood wireless speaker. That looks awesome. We'll test it. There's stuff in here I want to keep. That wood wireless speaker only sells for like 20 bucks. It's mine. And the last thing I have, I saw this earlier, it's an atomizer. Um, I don't know what an atomizer does. If you do, please leave it in the comments in, sec in the comments section below after you click the like button and the subscribe button. Leave a comment. Tell me what an atomizer is. It sounds dangerous. Agents say a rechargeable charger wireless option in a more convenient, healthy, safe, healthy, safe, environment efficient. I don't like the sound of this. Okay. And that's it. So, I have uh, 40 some odd items here. We know that one is not being sold. Um, they're easily off the top of my head. I paid six fifty an item. I say I'm probably gonna average fifteen dollars, average twenty bucks, fifteen to twenty bucks per item on there. That's um that's what I'm expecting in profit. About fifteen dollars profit per item. So maybe eighteen to twenty. Hopefully triple my money out of this box. So I paid two two seventy for this box from Market Square liquid liquidation. Um I'll leave a link. Market Square. Market Square liquidation. I believe it is. Let me uh, just pull up my screen, which you can't see. But Market, Mar I'm sorry, Market Street liquidation. I'm going to leave a link to to them um, below. You can go there. They have electronics, mystery boxes. They sell a lot of pallets and do mostly local stuff, but they decided to start selling these electronic mystery boxes, I guess. Um, I'll leave a link to them below. I think it's $2.99. Now, how I discovered this was another YouTube channel that I follow called Family Flips. I'm sure that if, if you're watching me, my little tiny, barely just started YouTube channel, you've heard of them. Family Flips is the discount code you get 10% off. So that's 30, 20, 30 bucks off. That's how I got it for $2.69. So I'll leave it there. I'll put their code in there. I don't, the code worked for me. I just bought this slab last, last week and it came today. I bought, purchased it on Sunday and it arrived today, Friday. It arrived on Friday, today, Saturday morning right now. And um, it's pretty good. I think I have a good feeling about this one. And um, I'm going to test and list. It'll take me all weekend to get these listed and I'm kind of a one man job a little bit the girl helped me out a little bit but she's not much into this as much um, as far as the listing is concerned and um, I'm going to get this done hey guys I enjoyed showing you a mystery box follow me on uh, you can follow me on Instagram at DIY Dollar Bills TikTok I made a new TikTok channel at DIY Dollar Bills if you want to go there just look up DIY Dollar Bills and um, that's pretty much it. Uh, my website is, I have the DIYDollarBills.com name. <laughs> I have nothing there. If you go there, you're going to see, well, hello, the hello WordPress page. I'm going to be working on that over the next few months. So um, this is a growing business. You're watching me grow. Remember eBay, Macari, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, and soon to come, Amazon. So um, I have a video about 888 lots and how you can tell how you can tell um, if you're going to purchase from 888 lots, will it be profitable on Amazon? Will you be able to sell on eBay, Amazon? You know, so we'll talk more about that stuff. But 
welcome to DIY Dollar Bills Reselling Business. Please, if this video, if you enjoyed this video, you know, I'm not as entertaining as most of these guys, but if you enjoyed this video, click like, click subscribe, leave a comment below, and again, in your comment, tell me what the hell an atomizer is. All right, peace out.